Hello, this is RPGLPs, and welcome back to Let's Play Oracle of Ages! Alright, since the last time we talked to the Meiku Tree, and, well, she's looking for... She's looking to be our bride, yeah. A frickin' tree is trying to be our bride, what the heck? But alright, before doing anything else, let's go ahead and head into this shop here. I actually want to put some of the rupees to good use. And yeah, we want to pick up our shield, the wooden shield. Not that I'm really going to be using it, because, well, I'm uh, I'm kind of OCD like that. I like having other items that we can get in the near future in my inventory or on the B slot. Um, yeah, we want the Ember Seeds out. Now, yeah, I know I forgot to do something in the past. We could have done... In fact, it's on this screen in the past, but we'll be doing that uh, probably next episode, so don't worry about it. And also, if you're if you're kind of lost on where to go, you pretty much you just want to go to the Megu Tree and talk to the Megu Tree, and she'll let you know. We want to head down here into the Yol Graveyard. This is where the first dungeon is located. Remember, the Megu Tree told us about that. Oh, we, uh, there's a locked gate there. Huh. And there's a little ghost-looking guy there. Refill some ember seeds. Awesome. Hey, there's a secret soil patch. Grave beneath the tree, huh? What might come out? Oh, a ghost! Now, yeah, before doing anything else, let's go ahead and plant another Gasha seed here. Awesome. We'll go ahead and check that out uh, later. Oh, and there's another heart piece, but we can't get that just yet. And I believe it's this one right here. Oh, some secret stairs. And yeah, I know it's pretty dark in here, so let's go ahead and light this up. As always, that's what we have to do. And we get a little skeleton key. We got the graveyard key. All right. Now, remember we just passed that gate that had a keyhole in it. So let's go ahead and put that there. But yeah, hopefully we get through the whole dungeon today. In fact, I really want to get through the whole dungeon today because it's a fairly short dungeon and should probably only take me, I don't know, maybe about five, six minutes. Holy cow, get out of here. Come on, come to life, bird. Oh, <laughs> I've never seen that before. He just flew off screen. And yeah, there's that ghost there, but we can't lift that rock right now. Maybe later we can. But all right, let's head into here. Level one, the spirit's grave. And... Yeah, there's a door over to the left. We don't want to head there yet. Let's just head to the right. And take these guys out. What are these? I keep forgetting the names of these guys. Aren't they Zals or Zols? Whatever, let's push that right there. Yeah, and if you notice, there's a little... It goes... Nah, 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 nah. Like the little sound it makes when you enter a room. That means there's something special about the room. And, oh yeah, this... This is pretty much just a tutorial dungeon. You just want to push that block so the blue one's on top. And right here we get the dungeon map. All right. And we don't want to actually go back up there since, well, it resets itself once you leave the room. But yeah, these puzzles will get a lot more de uh, devious later in the game. Not right now, though. Kill these Stalfos off. Get out of here. Ha. Oh. Huh. That guy doesn't come alive. These damn ghosts, I hate the ghosts in this game. They take damn near forever to kill. All right, we got them. And we got a small key. Oh, and there's a chest over there. Let's go ahead and head up here first. And instead of actually going in there, since I'm OCD, let's go ahead and grab this. And we got the compass. Now, in this game, there's little secret passages. Let's go ahead and burn this vine down. And head in here. Now, this isn't critical. You you don't even have to do this. Let's go ahead and step on that. Damn it. And what do we get for our efforts? We get a ring. All right. 
Yeah, I figure what I'm gonna do with the rings is... Well, I'll, I'll accumulate a bunch of them and then go to Vasu. Instead of, if I get one, I really don't want to just keep going to Vasu just for one ring at all times, but... Alright, right here we get another key. Awesome. Get out of here. Yeah, and pretty much, just for a rule of thumb, you you really want to kill all of the enemies inside the dungeon. There's a very good reason for that, and we'll find out why once we get done with this place. Give me that ruby. And yeah, let's head over here first. Huh. Um, let's see here. Yeah, we want to head over here first. And step on this, and it creates a little floating platform. Now, hopefully I don't fail here. <laughs> ah, damn it. All right, let's head over here now. And it makes a chest appear. Come on, make it. And we get another key. Wow, they're just handing these keys out like candy. It's not Halloween yet. Okay, now we want to actually make our way back to... Well, let's head over here first. Oh, come on, game! What the hell? I was right on it! Alright. Now, instead of actually going over here, we actually want to turn around and go back. Now, there's a very good reason for that. I want to push this here. And, oh, there's a switch up there! And what's in this chest? We get a Gasha Seed. Awesome. Better than, um... What is it better than? Well, better than a lot of things. Better than that. Oh, all right. I guess that works. Okay, now there's a room up here, but, well, I'll just tell you right now, that's where the boss is, but we don't have the boss key. So let's head down here first. For mini-boss time! against this ghost himself. Oh, crap. Get out of here. Oh, come on. Wow, did he, wow was he easy. That was a, no. <laughs> uh, I did not want to do that. At least not yet. Yeah, that guy was a pushover. Holy cow, these guys have blue boomerangs? Yeah, there's really nothing to do in here. Let's just head down here. And push that right there. And like that, alright. Damn, Stalfos, get out of here. And what's up here? A couple more Stalfos to slaughter off. Why not? Yeah, we light these up. And there's some secret stairs, and... Yeah, Zelda 1 reference. I love it when these games do that. Make references to the very first game. And all right, right here we get the power bracelet. Yeah, basically, yeah, it's a level 1. Now, that is critical. Yeah, basically what it, let, what it lets you do is, well, pick up pots and move them around. Now, okay, I'll, I'll show this off real quick. Yeah, you don't even have to have the power bracelet on, or... Yeah, it just has to be in your inventory. You're Now you're able to push the pots. But, well, we want it on. Link, at least, for a little bit. And what's this? We get another ring. All right. How many do we got now? Three. And another Gasha Seed. Yeah, I'll tell you right now, we could have got another Gasha Seed... Uh, back in the past, but we'll be doing that next episode, so don't worry about it. Yeah, and what this room is, this is, uh, well, from where we entered the dungeon, it's the room to the left. But all right, right here we get the boss key. No longer the nightmare's key. And take this portal here. Okay. Wow, did that go fast. That seemed, that went fairly good, I think. I didn't actually forget where the hell I was going. Holy cow. What are those called? They're not floor masters, are they? Or wall masters? I don't know. It's... Holy cow, was that close. For boss time! Against this pumpkin head himself. 
Now what you gotta do, you wanna lift this up after you slaughter him off. And use the whirling blade technique on him. Yeah, this guy is pretty easy. Two whirling blades and he's dead. Holy cow. And all right, we got another heart container. Wow, was that a joke of a first boss. What the hell is this? An eternal spirit. Oh, it's one of the essences of time. What the hell is that? A flame or... What is that? I have no idea. But all right, we got our first essence of time. What's this? Oh no, the Meku tree stalking us again. In the western woods. Sure, we'll go there. Next time on Let's Play Oracle of Ages. This is RPGLPs heading out. I'll see you next time.